birds have kind of, they've become a focus for my work for a few different reasons. I think morphologically they're very different from us, so you don't associate yourself with them in the same way as you would with, you know, I also work with um, primates. And there's a lot different of a relationship between primates and man and birds and man and the way we use them as symbols. Um, you know, birds have wings, they can fly, which is very symbolic for mankind. You know, they have beaks and lay eggs. We don't really associate with ourselves with them. But at the same time, they're, um, they're ecologically often associated with urban living. Uh, I think the three main bird species that are found in the cities, which are sparrows, starlings, and pigeons, are found in 80% of the cities worldwide. So they live with us on a different plane, but it's not a very adversarial relationship in general. Um, so it's a very interesting relationship. Like they'll build, or build their houses just outside of our houses, and we don't mind in the same way that we do with rats, say, or raccoons, or whatever you know, other animals might be living in cities. So there's a lot of room for you know looking at those relationships and symbols. Um, my background as a park ranger and natural resource management definitely influenced what I'm working now because it's sort of set me up not only looking for patterns of ecology and patterns of behavior in nature, which I just kind of moved into urban environments, but also as, as acting as a sort of intermediary between mankind and nature, trying to find ways that they can work together or where the patterns clash or how to smooth the patterns that work well together. The peacock sculptures came from um, both, you know, it was kind of the park ranger thing again. I was looking for patterns of ecology and human behavior. When I moved to the city, um, you know, I had to adapt, and so I had to kind of try to find a way to do that myself. And so they're based on um, mating plumage. Um, I became really interested in the way humans have choices in a lot of things that we, they're still ecological patterns, but we can make choices as to how we're going to um, involve ourselves with them, like what we're going to eat, who we might mate with, and when, um, all these things that animals do more instinctually. And so with mating plumage, you know, birds will just, in the right season, change their plumage, or, you know, start doing different dances, or build different houses, or whatever they happen to do. And we can make the choice of how we present ourselves, and, you know, how valuable we are as a mate, and so I started thinking about that and thinking about the way people present themselves in public. And also just kind of the both beauty and kind of, there's a little bit of aggression sometimes in a lot of those relationships. Mm -hmm. like, um, like who is the more valuable meat? <laughs> and so I wanted to bring that in too as well with those. I tried to keep it a little bit so that you can't quite tell whether they're mating or they're fighting or one of them is going to win or not. Like, neither one is entirely dominating the other one because I wanted to leave all of that up to the viewer and how they were going to interpret it. And the materials for the peacocks came about pretty intuitively. I think I saw fake fingernails in a package and was looking at them in the way, the patterns of them and the shapes and started thinking that they would make very good feathers. And But, you know, set it to the side for a little while while I was figuring out how I wanted to work with that and why and what themes it would actually fit with. But once it came together, it came together very naturally, other than the immense amount of labor that they take. <laughs> but um, there's that sort of like Fibonacci sequence of feather patterns that can happen pretty easily with the different size nails. I think I, I, I do tend to go towards labor intensive work. Um, sometimes I try not to, and I always go right back to it. It gives me time to think about the next thing that I'm doing and really make sure I'm doing it for good reasons. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, I'm so interested in evolution, which isn't the fast, fastest process, so it kind of makes sense that I'll slowly sort things out, sometimes go backwards a little bit and start over. Um, so it just, it seems to be the way I work. <laughs> <laughs>